uh, we have the team sheets on the screen over here. Singapore has won the toss and they will be batting first. Fantastic bowler. In she goes. This is the first ball. Steams right in and on target. That ball swinging in just a little bit, beating the inside edge of the batter. This one's more plumb in front and given. There we go. Ahilia has been so persistently consistent. Ooh, that's a good ball. Straight into the hands of the waiting short midwicket over there. Fantastic delivery. The batter had to play at it of short midwicket over there for a close in midwicket. Wonderful bowling by Ahilia. You can see that ball sort of swinging in just that little bit, held its line. Ahilia. Ooh, good ball again by Ahilia, swinging in, and it takes the... Oh my god, that is bold, actually. It does hit her on the path very well, and this is reap rewards for it. There we go. It hits the back leg, and this sort of ricochets onto the off stump. The thing is definitely improved. There we go. That one's a little bit in the air. Just falls short of mid-off over there. It doesn't carry through. Another Japan player who has improved her game significantly. That one's hit in the air and it goes over mid off. The field is scampering after it and that is the first boundary of the Singaporean innings. That's played much better. That is cut square of the wicket. Oh, a chance at a run out if it had hit. The batter was well short of a crease over there. Good delivery. That's hit in the air and straight to the fielder at cover. Extra cover possibly, depending on the angle. It was hit over mid-off. This one was similarly floated up, tempting that batter to drive it and hit it in the air. And that one goes straight to the fielder. Katasan back on track. This one's hit aerially over the uh, fielders on the leg side. And that shall go towards the boundary. Oh, that one's hit aerially again. And, oh, just outside the reach of the fielder over there. Just to hit in the air. We see that once again, but this time a little bit more of a straighter strike. And that ball goes past mid-off. Uh, sorry, long off for another boundary. And once more, that's hit straight in the air. This time again, dead straight, and that goes over the boundary for another four. Oh, that's a lovely delivery. Straight on the stumps. Beautiful ball. She departs. Now to the shortened process, that's a swipe attempted off a straight ball. Oh, good ball by Yanagi the Sun. Rattles that off stump over there. Absolutely beautiful flight. Couldn't just make contact at all. It almost ended up being a Yorker length sort of delivery. And there goes the bales off the stump. Oh, that's a bit of a grubber and rightfully called no ball by the umpires. Now the ball gets called a no ball after the second bounce. And as you see, there's a signal for the free hit, which the batter takes a full advantage of, tries to hit it as hard as she can. Oh my God, there's a misunderstanding and there's a run out in the process. Both batters standard at one end. Looks like lots of miscommunication of a free hit. That is the only way, well, one of the only ways you can get out of a free hit, the other being obstructing the field. And what a sad, sad state of affairs as the batter slips. Able to do in this over. That's a full length ball. She's missed it. And that has hit the stumps. Johanna loses her wicket. Now, brilliant, beautiful piece of bowling over there. Just rolls her fingers as she releases that ball. Gives it a nice little loop batting capabilities. Let's see how, oh, young Charlotte has hit that ball straight up in the air. A oh, good effort by the fielder over there who dived, but unfortunately the ball just fell short of her reach risks. Oh, that's bold. That's a full delivery, sort of a dipping. There we go. Let's watch the replay again. In she comes. There we go. That's just hit middle and off. Kurumi Otasan comes in. Let's see what happens. 
and she's managed to make contact with that ball which flies off the outside edge and makes it way to the third man boundary so Singapore will finish over here with a boundary a significantly improved performance over their batting display yesterday here we see the batting scorecard uh, Roshni Ramesh top scoring for Singapore with 21 of 25 there's the bowling card Ahilya Chandel leads with three wickets for nine runs uh, followed by Kurumi Ota with 2 for 12. Here comes the first ball of this innings. And there we go. Haruna Iwasaki takes strike and Charlotte Boyle. And it's an absolutely pretty sight to watch. That one's hit in the air. Uh, obviously outside the reach of the batter. This one runs towards the boundary. Well, two runs. Ella comes in again. This one's a little bit more towards the stumps. Sits a little bit squat low. Erika Oda using all her experience to manage to get hold of that ball. Spats it across to mid-wicket over there where it's fielded very, very nicely by one of the Singaporean players. Ooh, full toss above waist high. Well, you have to wait for the umpire's signal whether it's a no ball or not. That has been signaled a boundary. Brings Ishita Shukla to the crease. She's bowling the right arm over. This one's raised to the boundary as well. Very well played by Haruna Iwasaki. In comes Ishita Shukla. Oh, beautiful delivery. Beautiful shot over there by Erika. That has gone. Finishing these loose deliveries by Singapore. That's a full toss. Definitely that should be called a no ball. And this one has been pulled majestically on the leg side behind square. This one has been handsomely pulled over cow corner as we speak. Oh, that. Oh, my God. That is a drop. That is a drop. That was a little lapse by Erika. And this time she takes advantage of that gap over extra cover, hits it beautifully, places it so well. Divya back for her third delivery. This one has been taken hold of by Harune Wasaki, and that one goes towards mid wicket. And it has been caught unsuccessful in her pursuit of that half century. There we go, that's hit again by Erika this time. And this one is racing definitely as the boundary, will beat the fielder there, crosses the rope. And that is four. Much better shot by Erika this time. Took full toll of that full length ball and hit it in the gap into the attack. She bowls a flight of delivery on off stump. And Erika Oda has smashed that for a boundary. And this is it, folks. This is not only Erika's 50, but Japan have reached their target of 77, which they did comfortably for the loss of just one wicket and for only nine overs. This has been a wonderful batting performance by Japan. So here we go. This is the scorecard. Haruna Iwasaki scored 13 of 14 deliveries. Erika Oda has scored 52 of 34. There's the bowling figures, the sole successful bowler with Divya with the solitary wicket who has bowled well. But Singapore will take heart in the knowledge that they have improved upon their batting performance in this game compared to the first match. Thank you everybody for tuning in and for supporting both the teams today.